I'm so bored. <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. Do. I mean, it's a nice day out. I guess we could take China for a walk. China, let's go for a walk. <gasps> Right. Let's go for a walk, China. Let's go for a walk. Come on, go. Go. Oh my God, are you okay? Oh gosh, what did I just trip over? I don't know. Rock? How did we not see it? You know what? Let's go look what's in it. Let's go. Man, I wonder what's in it. I don't know. What do you think is in it? It could be anything. Whoa! Hmm. A number so big that it doesn't even have its own value. But then again, if there was a number like that, there would also be a number so small that it doesn't even have its own value. Right? Yeah, yeah. But then, what happens to the number after that? And then the number after that. And then after that. I don't know. I'll, I'll sleep on it. Wait, I got it. It all makes so much sense. Since a number can get so big and so small, it should have the same symbol. It's beautiful. It's remarkable. I'll call it infinity. I want to be a guy. A guy that's known forever in history. Not just for my hats. Oh, how nice. Is that apple? get two. By adding one and two, you get three. <gasps> By adding two and three, you get five. By adding three and five, you get eight. By adding these two, you get thirteen. This can be called, I'm gonna call this the golden spiral. <gasps> it's coming to me. And it will be called the Fibonacci sequence. Ah! <sighs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened! What? The Council of Mathematicians, they won't take my idea. They said they don't need new ideas. They said their math is perfect. And they don't need any new answers or solutions or ideas. But this is such a good idea! I know, it's perfect. And I don't know why they would not take it. Are they gonna, like, take anyone else's? No, they said they, said they don't need anything. They said their math is complete. What? I, I don't, I honestly, I don't understand. Okay. New idea. I'm a thinker. Me and you got to put our ideas together in a box so the people of tomorrow know what we know today. So kind of like a time capsule kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So so they won't take it now, but in the they'll future they'll have later. to take it. Yeah. Oh Let's my gosh. Let's do it. it. Is that the rest of it? Is yeah, that what we need? Yeah, this is the rest of my stuff. All right, so, so that's it. We don't need anything else to yeah. give it the future. Wait, my cat! Let's put my cat in there! Why, why 
Why would we need your cap? Because then they'll remember me. Whatever. I want to be, be remembered. All right, whatever you say. All right, I guess we should go. Go put it where we want. Okay, let's All go. All right. Well, at least, at least, hopefully, they'll accept it. They better. Let's go. <sighs> let's go. Let's hope this works. I hope so. I got the shovel. Alright, yeah, thanks, Patty. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty hot out here. There's no clouds in the sky. It's pretty blue. I'm in jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt. I'm starting to sweat. I honestly, I don't know if there's a number high enough to even describe how hot it is out here. This just in, fresh off the printer, two 17-year-old kids discovered a buried time capsule in their backyard on a walk. On a walk containing mathematical theories that will change the face of the mathematical world as me and you know it today. Discovery number one is the infinity symbol. This symbol represents the highest and the lowest number that could ever be. Here it is. So the infinity symbol is the highest number that it can be and when you put it under a fraction, one over infinity, you have the smallest number that could possibly be. This solves your problem, Thomas. <laughs> okay, uh... Discovery number two is the Fibonacci sequence, which is a mathematical proof that gives you the answer by using the rule f of x equals x of n minus 1 plus x of n minus 2. The sequence is as follows. 0, 1, 1. 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on and so on until infinity. Woo! Okay, uh, this sequence has also created the idea of the golden spiral. Here's a picture of it today. <clears throat> Colton Kinsey and Clarissa Greer have sold their idea to Google for $15 billion each. We should be making that kind of money, huh, Thomas? <laughs> man, oh man, am I glad I can afford all this cool stuff. Now that I'm a billionaire and all, I uh, got these bean bags, this nice big TV, a maid. Speaking of my maid, where's my hot chocolate? Shannon! Shannon! Oh my gosh, I got everything around here. Man, it's nice having all this money. Do whatever I want, get whatever I want. Got this nice house, this cool fire pit, big yard. I wonder what I could do with infinite amount of money. Let's ponder it, shall we? That was so not graceful. <laughs>